Hey guys, Curtis here again. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me. We're shooting these videos now just on an, on an Android phone. Uh, and that's so we can time them together properly. If I have to upload, upload to YouTube and do some editing at home, these videos always end up being about a day late. So uh, excuse me if they seem a little chopped together. Um, this is kind of part two of part one. Um, so again, it's still, it's Friday, April 4th. We're up in the Chapel Creek area. Now, if you've watched part one, hopefully first, if I uploaded these things right, um, what you saw is we had about 30 centimeters of snow on the trail. That's, that's quite substantial for these springtime conditions. Um, and then what I was wondering is how this snow was reacting up in the Alpine. So as we're riding up the trail, we could be testing small little rolls, small little convexities, using our snowmobile as an assessment tool. Uh, at the same time, looking at slopes that are on the other sides of the valley from us or far away from us, looking up at start zones, seeing if we're seeing any natural avalanche activity. Um, if you can see behind me up here, this is probably the fourth one that we've seen today. It would be a remote triggered, so somebody riding close or riding above the convexity. Um, size ones, you know, but uh, if, we, if we take this into the bigger picture and we put this on a bigger slope or a slope with a consequence like a terrain at the bottom or a terrain trap at the bottom, um, these little avalanches, or big if they're on a steeper slope, are really going to have high consequences. Um, so if we read the bulletins this morning, we're still reading three major problems in the, in, within the snowpack. Now, to kind of lower our exposure out here with this new heavy load, recent avalanche activity, this stuff that we're seeing, this, this warming, this sticky snow, we're probably going to want to avoid larger convexities. We're seeing convexities break off remotely here behind us and we're seeing it as we ride around. So imagine that on a larger picture. We're going to get a much larger avalanche and, and the consequences of that could be, could be deadly. Um, so we want to, even in the sunshine as the spring's coming, we want to avoid the tendency to push ourselves into complex terrain, avoid areas of high consequence, big terrain traps at the bottom, stick to kind of the simple terrain, just enjoy this deep snow, all right? We want everybody to have fun, ride this spring snow here in Valmont, just make sure we do it safely. Check avalanche.ca before you ride, ridevalemount.com, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you out here soon.